everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Today's topic, this topic specifically, is going to be a controversial one because there are a lot of people who have issues with Lolly as a body type or Lolly as a, you know, Lollycon fetish type of thing. Uh, I mainly have a problem with the second fetish even though it's you know uh, fictionalized characters i just don't deal with them i don't report anybody i don't do anything negative like that because why the hell would i it's fictionalized characters it, i don't really care at that point as long as it's not actual people getting victimized if it's fictionalized characters do whatever you want in your own fantasy world about fictionalized characters don't i don't mind the issue that i have here is this this person this issue that happened here was uh, thanks to them that brought it up but what happened this person uh i think their name is uh Caitlin, what is it? Is it called Catliente? Catliente. They have been going on a um, a bender when it comes to this kind of thing. They are harassers. They are bullies. This person is a bully. Why? They use fake information, they use false information to get VTubers banned. They started trying to report them, as mentioned here, to the FBI, wasting government resources to report people who are just VTubers. They are not actually victimizing anybody. They are all adults. They are all consenting adults. They are not uh, victimizing anybody. There are no children being victimized, yet they're reported to the Child Crimes Division or whatever, uh, the vic you know, the, that division of the FBI. You don't do this. Her some of the clowns reported them to the FBI. My condolences to FBI agents who are obligated to review all this cringe. False information spreads very quickly, so always check your sources. I said in the video the author of the Google Doc reported them to the FBI. According to Caitlin, says that it wasn't me. So just to clarify, do you condemn people wasting federal resources? And that's what the thing. Due to her video, people did report to the FBI. This is BS. I don't like that. They're VTubers. If you don't like what they do as VTubers, don't watch them simple simple as that don't watch them don't go onto their channels don't go and watch them that's pretty much it luckily someone saved the actual google doc we'll go over some of the stuff here uh events take place july 2nd to 3rd lollipop began getting harassed by twitter aunties as it happens because they're lolly lolly group uh another being pippa otter vtuber claims the girls are using slurs belligerently and went on to podcast with ethan ralph a registered sex offender and talked about uncomfiness with lollies evidence below if you're following me and supporting these girls, please don't follow me. I, fo I unfollowed them because I do not like people bullying. So I unfollowed this person. I was following them at one point, but I unfollowed them recently. I'm not comfortable with grown women acting like children being not only extremely sexual, but using slurs as well. Okay, perfectly fine. You know, don't, don't deal with them. Don't talk to them. Don't do anything with them. But don't go and actually actively make a hate raid campaign, a hate campaign against these people. Leave them be. They are adults, for God's sakes. Sirs, how did I hear about this? Yep. Uh... This, this is, this is, you know, it's going a little too far with the, with the whole, the whole meme thing. I understand that. Um, this here, ah, uh, with Robert Combs. This post not only brought harassment towards the puffs, but also lullaby, painting her in a bad light while leaving out the context of the said person told her die via video. So they were told to KMS. They were told to KMS and people react in a memeish way. They react in an aggressive way when they're told to KMS. So I can understand this 100%. Uh, it is not a good reaction. In no way do I can do I condone the reaction. I can understand without context. It looks really bad without context, which is when she posted the commonly used dog meme. All the members of Lollipuff are artistic and have been uh, called said words by many people in the VTubing community who act like they have never used such a word in joking or non-joking font before. That neck every time I distance myself from someone with red flags in the VTubing space. And they rebranded into full on toddler lolly and have adult have two nickels which isn't a lot but happened twice uh what possesses them to switch teams like that more alarming when moods support the change despite them hating lolly shota content i don't hate lolly shota content i don't watch it i don't uh, i don't interact with it i let them be in their own space as i mentioned lolly specifically has a connotation of lolly con over here in the west lolly cons are not people i appreciate they're not people i i even uh, get near lolly as a body type is something that's been around in japan for decades by now generations by now lolly I mean, at least maybe the 80s i think at least lolly is like rebecca for example who is a full-grown adult from uh cyberpunk edge runners who is a lolly uh, uh body type even the creators call her lolly body type it is a petite body type you can have lolly baba you can have short stacks you have all those type of things you know you can have all of those and those are lollies and it says here, another YouTuber, Kai Lazuli, judges with M male wife Max, who makes fun of ex-member of uh, Lilri Core for having red flags. None of her previous designs were lolly. She just went black representing enough. She wasn't black representing enough. 
Even while in the black community, she was heavily bullied, outcasted, couldn't act herself without being made fun of for how she sounds, lied on, toxic friendships. So she already had a lot of things. So let's keep going down here. The proof. I'm going to go more over the proof. This is this is the huge smear campaign that they had to suffer. This is the huge uh, hate campaign that they had to suffer. And artist 202 Riggers, they found and worked with toddler con models. Personally, if you were okay with either way, making a child model, rigging it, you're just as bad. No, that's not true. And... Uh, Jota just doing these types of things here. I don't know why they're doing that. Reply was hidden by original author. Oops, I'm not letting you promote peas on a page. Enjoy the hid reply uh, thing. Says so a person wanting to watch grown women play toddlers. I don't care who's behind the model. Could be a guy for all I care. I want to see cute anime stuff. Thanks. Uh, you can go watch a more anime, not grown ups asking if you want to effort. Just, yeah, just if you don't want to have access with that kind of stuff, go on and do it, do it separately. But don't treat every lolly character as a lolly con. They are not lolly cons. They are lolly characters. They are human beings behind the mask who deserve to be treated with respect. And they're sowing more scared little four-letter word. Keep yourself safe. Now, this keep yourself safe here is meme speak for KYS, if you know what that means. So this person just told someone to off themselves because they said that you are afraid of a four-letter word, which is true. They're afraid of a four-letter word. They are showing more of what of their personality than the people that they supposedly hate. They're showing more morally and ethically wrong things here than the people that they say, that's, that they say they hate because they're telling someone to off themselves. Want to block and report them though? Maybe DM uh, DM them to me so I can quite honest discuss me that there are people like this. People, I think a lot of these people are tourists in the in the whole industry thing. Like I said, I don't condone lolly cons. I don't condone any of that type of stuff. But lolly as a body type is something different. I'm gonna throw up. You kind of tell me lolly tubers don't. Uh, know what they're doing petite women my ass y'all are weird uh anyways i blocked the entire lot if blocking was just all they did then that would be great they went and harassed them even further lyricor is 20 and used the term barely legal on her post on twitter to showcase her model's tummy literally sfw and it was taken in as content by naughty minded anti-individuals what does barely legal mean turn 18 like five minutes ago i guess barely legal lolly tummy i don't think it's wrong saying you do like the barely legal stuff barely legal is someone that is 18. It's used in, in different connotations, someone that's 18. We stay winning. Uh the like they they like Bunny X Bunny X Bunny likes that they were they were uh they were blocked. This person wants to be blocked uh by them. It's like they are reveling in the fact that they are antis. Another defamation towards Lollipop girls. Uh they never supported or engaged in holding any sorts of child pee. Uh, our characters, again, aren't minors and are of legal age. Fictional anime perceptions of us as lollies. If you are to perceive our characters as minors, that is you doing that as children. Our characters are ours. You can't tell us what age they are or they aren't. You don't own us. So I was under the incorrect assumption before, and I do apologize for this. This is why I'm not going to post the other part of the video. Because I was under the incorrect assumption that they were canonically 5 to 6. But they're not canonically any age. They're canonically barely legal. They just have the lolly style. That's it. Using Nyara, who is uh, amongst many, Nyara VT also lied to her followers that Numi lost her partnerships, which is false. But also that there were criminals were distributing, see, you know, that that kind of stuff, which seriously defames uh, defamatory claims not only against TOS but against the law. The Nyara thing, they, if I'm not mistaken, they actually got um they actually got uh, taken down by Twitter actually because it is against TOS. So I think they actually got taken down by Twitter as Nyara person. Here's to see criminals win because they abuse their platform instead of sitting in jail and uh, for distributing that. Now, Lullaby suspension. After all the cyberbullying we put up to her assistant, member Lullaby's Lita's account was falsely reported enough that she was unjustly suspended. Uh, Lullaby Lita has been quiet about the situation publicly until it started affecting her accounts that she had been up building up for months tirelessly. And that's the issue. She built this up tirelessly. You build this up all you can. And then you get mistreated like this. This is really messed up. If I seem kind of heated, it's because anybody can get attacked like this. Taiga, others can get attacked by this. It's an attack on the VTuber community. It's it's tourists coming in and pretending that they know everything about um about the whole, you know, VTuber community. Don't want to do this, but have a choice. The Lollipuffs and I have been going through a lot of targeted harassment. This is mentioning all their harassment that's been going on. I ask you guys to please help me get my account back. Um, through their contact section, go to appeal suspended account, mean an actual world to me. So that's nothing wrong with this. Um there's nothing wrong with trying to get their accounts back. Another member, Momo, posting her Discord about the situation, asking for help with restoring Lullaby's account. Again, trying to get things, you know, moving because Twitter works very slow. I'm too pregnant for the cyber bully stuff. If you don't like that I'm into age play, that I'm a lolly, I'm barely legal, literally when I'm young, barely legal adult, or that I'm little, block me. I don't care about your witch hunts or none of the harassments. If it is a consenting adult, I don't care about the fetishes they have. If it is a consenting adult, do not go and actually try to harm them. 
Do not, if you don't like it, leave. Go somewhere else. Honestly, it pisses me off. Go somewhere else. You can easily do that. I have done that in many occasions myself. You can easily go and do that. Piss off and don't bug these people. When in Bambi's Discord posts inciting harassment, not a collective response. The member Bambi Hayes posted on her own volition without conversing or in collaboration with other three members. That's this one here. Bambi Hayes has started a witch hunt. It says, I want these people gone. I don't effing care. I want them gone. I want them to graduate, etc. She was, this was already after all of the harassment that you were looking at. Every single bit of the harassment for months going on. She broke. And I can understand that. Not welcome. Was removed. They're truly sorry. Not right at all. And her group members are truly sorry for the behavior exhibited and any vile or ill or vile words sent to those who are involved because they don't condone any harassment. Harassment towards our pregnant member that made her try to try to KYS. During this time, Lyria Core had been bullied so much and overwhelmed that she tried to off herself. I wanted to blank myself so bad. I, wanted, I, I want to have my baby. I'll just be taking a break from social media. And down here, you had an idiot go and maybe you should start thinking about the child. You barely, in the belly stop as children. She's not doing that. She's just doing age play, etc., which is their own thing. I don't judge them for that. Yeah, when you said made anything better for you, gross, be gone. You're a nasty person. Again, getting more threats, getting more, more harassment. Attempt to push a false narrative. Niyumi again claimed she had nothing to do with the harassment. She was clearly proven early that she was DMing people, our accounts, and spam reports, as her friend Milk the Cow Succubus, quote tweeting one of her posts. Uh, I'm not going to lie that their defenders are beating my butt, but I'll be okay. Like, they're just, a uh, why? Why? Like, uh, where do you get the time to do this? I don't have the time to do this kind of stuff. I have better things to do with my life. Where do you get the time to do this? You report their accounts like this. I think it works. Hope this helps. Um, so yeah, trying to report everybody. This antagonization of everything Sylvie Spark abuse. Uh, clips of the Twitter space. Basically, they were doing in here, they were doing a, a, a Twitter space on trying to, I guess, organize the harassment uh, and did not tell anyone to blank themselves if such thing gets used against me it would be lead to self-defense and I'm going to let you know something that therapy you deserve, all this kind of stuff. It's just really bad stuff again and again and again. It's harassment. It's too much. If you don't like that little taboo stuff, if you don't like that kind of stuff, stay away from it, honestly. And that is a big thing that happened. Um, ba Bambi Hayes VT got suspended. Here's one thing that I really hate that she said. Look at this. She is a bully and she's proud of it. Um, Geo, I've been lurking for a while and I don't know if you mentioned this yet. I haven't talked about the lollipop stuff. I will not talk about it on stream because I'm probably going to make a second video about it. But um, my Twitch will get banned if I talk about it on stream due to how sensitive the topics are. So I'm going to record it off stream. Didn't know if you mentioned a bit worried with all the people that are with the lollipop group or organizing a mass report raid. Yeah, what are they going to do? Mass report me? So nice you, try. She's being an asshole. I've already... Look, I'm going to be fully honest and this is gonna be mean they're not big enough to put a dent in me to be honest okay i've already called out jideon and i had the entirety of jideon stan fan base mass report me so that's that, the thing she's their she little is, their little lolly accounts is not gonna put a dent into me here's the thing she thinks she's too big for that she thinks she's too big harassment is harassment whether you're big or small you should not harass anybody here's another thing that i learned recently in her i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go onto her channel because i don't want to even give that channel a click but if you look at, at all of her videos cat cat liente with a k if you look at her videos the ones that are getting a bunch of views are vtubers she's a vtuber tourist which is fine if you are correctly saying things and you are informed that's fine she's not informed she is a vtuber tourist she is someone who is does not know what she's talking about a lot of cases gets bad information that she got and the reason why she makes these videos because these get 100k, 50k, 200k views, while her regular videos giving you know advice and stuff get 400 views, 300 views. So you can tell she's trying to milk it. And she's gotten information wrong before. She's gotten information wrong here. She's going to keep getting information wrong again. Let's try posting this on your main account instead of your burner account. The thing will give piss poor apologies just to do the same thing again and again and blame it on disability. No, we never. I'm autistic too. I don't blame it on disability. I, I use I use it to explain some of the issues that I have and the issues that I'm working with. So these are all the people that that uh, that are being followed that she, she follows. A lot of these people harass the group. The same people who harass the group are the people that she follows. So that's where she's getting the information. She's getting the information from harassers, which is a bad thing. I'm just going over the information that I have. Again, we already went over this one directly. Um, the Azure pause got um, their account uh, suspended. I took a look at the Azure pause right here. 
it's all uh, their status is no longer available. Why? Because you look at Azure Pause and they got themselves suspended because they went against Twitter TOS and people did the same thing that they did to others. And this is that person's channel that I was mentioning. This is them basically sending hate raids to these, these VTubers. You can agree or disagree with their styling. You can agree or disagree with what they do, but don't go and harass them. You don't like them, leave. Just leave the area. Do not engage with them. Why do people not freaking understand this? It really gets my blood boiling. I do that. I don't interact with people that I don't, you know, are don't fit into my zeitgeist, don't fit into what I try, what I try to follow. And this person, Catliente, is someone that I do not want to ever follow again. You can follow her, you can do whatever you want. But on my end, I will not have anything to do with this woman because she is just creating hate. She's creating all this aggressiveness and all this aggression that should not happen. And that is where I'm going to leave this part. With the announcement of Aki from uh, Nidisandi's first generation, who was around around the time that Tsukinomito started in 2018, uh, from the first days, the early days, we are going to take a look at the Nidisanji E. The Sanji graveyard overall, you see all these people, all of them left. To have this much of a graveyard is not good. Lulu, Han Chihiro, Wadaba Meiji, all these people. Mio Otavia, Melissa Kindreka. Uh, it's like, there's too many. It's because of the meat wave. You have Zion Lanza, which we already know, Mr. Rias, Nina Kosaka, Yugo Asuma, Vihan, Nor, uh, Monmon, Gingo. Of course, we have the big ones, which is Pomu, Selen, Kyo. We have others who are maybe less well known. Martin, Hakuren, you know, some well, very well known, some not so much. Look at all of these. I mean, and down here, these down here seem to be maybe from VTA, Virtual Talent Academy. The Nanomiya Meira, a lot of these I think are from Virtual Talent Academy, the ones at the very bottom. They're not official, they weren't officially a part of Nidhi Sanji EN. So, but still, that is like over 20 at least of actual Nidhi Sanji EN graduated, maybe even over 30 or more. That is not a good sign for your organization to see that many graduations happen at all. You look at Hollow Life and you can count it on both hands and maybe still have some fingers left over with the graduation slash terminations they've done. I think they maybe have like five or six in total. So it is not something that happens a lot in uh, Hollow Life, but it seems to be just a, a recurring theme on Niti Sanji, which is sad to see. Let's see what people had to say about it. Then I see here just any color enjoying human gotcha. Any color, but the chosen color is gray. I hope that all those ex livers are in a better place now. Welcome to the big family, am I right? Notation question, I see a lot of retired, but the people I know for normal graduation who don't have that too. Also, they're broken up in, in uh, why are they broken up in that way? And why are the gray ones on the end? The gray ones on the end are VTA talents, like I mentioned. They are VTA talents, which aren't officially N Nidhi Sanji. They're part of the Nidhi Sanji talent academy that they have. The one where they try to create up and coming VTubers, create VTubers that will be good for them, etc. So that's what they're trying to do. Comparison, there are more retired needy talents shown than all, including retired Hollow Life and Hollow Stars talents combined. 117 retired needy talents versus 108 full Hollow talents. So 117 retired needy talents compared to 108 total needy uh, Hollow Life talents. That is freaking crazy. If these numbers are to be believed, it is crazy. They have more retirees than current livers right now, or what? Uh, the world looks gray. Holy, I never knew most of the livers there. I know some familiar XID, I, I, you know, Indonesia, um, India. At EN, Korea, etc. They had a lot of, of uh, livers gone. And it is a darn shame because a lot of these people had a dream and they got it crushed by an agency called Niji Sanji. Here is an issue that we've seen a lot with Niji Sanji. Five years, Seto Miyako finally debuts in 3D. Seto Miyako debuted in January 1st, 2019, alongside Onomachi Haruka and Kataribe Tsumugu. She also illustrated Kayahara, illustrator uh, Sukuya Kana, Shiori Novella on December 17th, 2021. Onmachi Haruka debuted in 3D. So in 2021, she debuted in 3D, which is two years, this person here. Finally, Seto Miyako will have her own 3D model after freaking five years. For those who aren't aware, Niji Yen is actually pretty spoiled when it comes to 3D debut pipeline. They actually get theirs in wave debut order. Niji JP getting your 3D is based on when you hit 100k subs and then you get put into a queue. And who is Seto? This is Seto here. It is a dang shame that this is happening so long. Uh, Niji Sanji's VTuber who debuted five years and six months ago will get her 3D for the first time next month. Source is right here. It took her long enough. It took Niji Sanji long enough. God, once again, I see the forgotten liver that the black company neglected. The fact that they did not give the 3D for 5.5 years does not rule out 
premonition of graduation in the past. Azuchi Momo finally given 3D in the graduation stream is being ridiculed as a costume for the afterlife. This is good for her, although Miyako's 3D debut will be overshadowed by Shiori's 3D debut, which will happen a day later in Japan time. Took her long enough. It's sad that this is happening. Here is her, her waiting room for this, and people are saying it's because she finally got over 100k subs. That is not right. That is a darn shame. That is one of the things that I will always rail against in Nidhi Sanji because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't belong. Another inactive uh, streamer, Kataribi Su Sumugu, is inactive since the 12th of March, 2019. Five years ago. Only has three live streams. I don't know what happened there. Um, hopefully, nothing horrible. But yeah, they only have three live streams. Uh, they aren't. They, they, they weren't very active. It doesn't seem like they haven't been active for the last five years. He has way too many ghost employees. Something's really wrong behind the scenes for them to have several livers just disappear for no reason, but still be technically employed by them. If I remember correctly, back then, being an EG liver is pretty much a part-time job, and it was for a lot of them. Um, or hobby for most of the livers. There was only a small number of livers who were actively trying to live, earn a living. Unlikely, there's a conspiracy or rat about her regarding behind the scenes. Since most of the livers that I used to watch in EGJP never interacted with her. Kataribi Sumugu is um, one of the anomalies that Niji Sanji has along with uh, Glizarin, uh, the third, which I have no idea how long the contract lasts, even needed to resign the contract every one to two, three years. So it could just be they just decided to move on and they even forgot about Niji Sanji being existing. They just told management, hey, I'm not coming back. I'm going to go do this. Uh, and they just have it as a hiatus. It could be. Uh, she even employed it all. Nobody knows. Here's three streams. Uh, ghost bound to a school library. She's aware that she's a spirit. Probably just got exercised and never came back. A little bit of, uh, of lore diving there. But I hope they're well. I hope they are finding success in whatever path they've chosen outside of VTube. Uh, people that are going crazy over uh, Hollow Life, Nidhi Sanji. This person has done it before. This Quill Coco Fund. I started by saying I do not wish any person involved to be harassed. But a week ago, I made a mistake called up by Ike. Quickly deleted the stuff. Worst of all, I know these people didn't mean it that way. I've been here for almost three years. I saw many of those chats. I've talked to and were moots. Some of them even looked up to. That's why I knew they didn't mean for those words to be to be blank threats. Um, it truly hurts when people who knew me still think it's funny to point at me and say, if I was you, I would have blanked myself. Not good. Not good. Not good to ever send death threats. That those just it, It's just point blank. Don't do that. That that is that can actually cause someone to make an attempt. Don't do that. Don't harass someone that way. Just ignore, block, move on. How could you do that to me? Two years and a half. I've been in this fandom, and I've done nothing but been loyal, and dedicated. All the merch, all the supas, arts, projects. Did my entire existence on this account for almost three years. Um, if I was you, I would blank myself. So funny. I ask you. Laughing last message you received from my friends is I'm quilling myself. Of all people you think it would undermine Ike on purpose. I uh, basically saying you know that they are getting affected by this. I don't wish anyone to be cornered like the way I was. Don't try to find anyone in my post. Don't mention them. Don't do anything to them. <clears throat> uh, I'll go instead. So don't raise your pitchfork for someone that will be here. It won't be here anymore. I don't feel safe in this place anymore. It sucks because a fandom is a place you're supposed to feel safe in. A fandom, no matter what this person has said, a fandom is a place you're supposed to feel safe in. He created his own place where he uh, felt safe in. But he, oh, he said a little too much, which prevented people from feeling safe around him. And actually, you know, some people are a little too parasocial and they decided to make death threats against this guy. Don't do that. Like, you can hate somebody. You can you can um, criticize them, but don't harass them. Don't send them threats. Don't tell them to KMS. Don't tell them to any of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> people that he used to be friends with are telling him to KMS. And that is not cool. Hope this person gets out of the parasocial life and finds identity outside of one of the channels of YouTuber streamer Celeb. Maybe it's just a getaway uh, towards sanity. I think it's the biggest issue being parasocial. I mean, it's not just for Nidhi Sanji. Other VTubers have that issue, of course. The problem is that they've ingrained their existence into servicing the people that they put into the pedestal um, and not realizing that it's a very flimsy foundation on uh, which should not be placed the hopes and dreams. Of course, these people are entertainers at the end of the day and they should be an accessory to your life at most. Uh, a means to enrich it, not a, an object of which your entire being revolves around this is how cults get started of course jesus the male livers need to wrangle both spectrum and the fan base and uh vtubers that said an at best deal with a vocal minority that can be safely ignored these fujoshis are off their rocker they absolutely are this should not have happened i agree this problem where these fans think that just because people they interact with are the same thing doesn't automatically mean they know you it's a bunch of strangers on the internet that like something and suddenly they think they're all close-knit when in reality 
They have turned on each other in a heartbeat, at least in the Sanji fandom seems to do that. And it's a shame, like I said, you can have your criticisms about this dude. I certainly do. He shouldn't have opened, like actually been as aggressive as he was. He shouldn't have uh, put words in someone's mouth. Shouldn't have taken away the accomplishments of someone else. But, you know, I kind of did that in the black stream as well. But, you know, people shouldn't do that. But also, people shouldn't feel in fear of their life or feel like they should, you know, KMS. Momo Susan Nene will be on hiatus. She's going to take her little hiatus going on there. And we have the translated version here. Sorry that everyone has suddenly canceled their streams and go hiatus. The problem turned out to be bigger than I had expected. But I'll be back soon. I will definitely come back, so don't forget to wait for me. I might keep you worried for a while, but please look back over all the archives and wait. This is a, looks like maybe a mental health thing. Maybe it is an actual health thing. She has to take a hiatus to resolve personal problems and to wait for her return. Last week or so, I can't remember, she scheduled a singing stream and suddenly she had to cancel it and disappeared without saying a word. This caused massive concern amongst the fan base. A few days later, she tweeted apologizing for not saying a word and that she'll explain the situation soon. She didn't say she had a funny story. Obviously, I don't know what happened, but I hope her mental health is okay. From her post on YouTube and Twitter, I found her a bit unstable mentally recently, I guess. But I hope this break will to relax more. I don't know. I don't follow her as religiously as a lot of people might. So I don't know if this is true or not. Um, but, you know, she said she's saying that she's taking a bit of a break. Lamy and others have reacted as well. Ease everyone's worries after Nene's hiatus announcement. Nepo Labo uh, truly feels like a family. They're saying here, I am in touch with Nene. So everyone, please don't worry. And let's all save our energy and eagerly await the big comeback celebration for Nene. Omoropoka says, thank you, Nene, for pushing through the fan with the fan meet despite having difficulties. Please continue to support Nepo Labo as well. I was able to talk with Nene, so let's all wait together for her return. Big love to you. And the peach, because that's Nene's Oshi mark. So um, they are saying things are, you know, going okay. They have always had contact with each other ever since the beginning. All of them have had contact with, you, with each other. Uh, Hollow 5 has contact with each other i believe even they even have contact with uh the person who was mano alo they try to keep the contact with them because they were still close uh when i was worried the most seeing nepo labo take care of each other in times of need makes me feel relieved yes while my heart is not completely at ease knowing nene has such close friends around and caring friends i know she'll be all right now i will just wait for the return love nepo labo their blessing like they visit each other especially when they're down they seem to visit each other they seem to really care which is always good to see in regards to the lamis and uh you know nepo labo and nene having her break according to what people are saying on the ndf side this is um going to be you know that because people are saying oh my gosh she's going to retire oh my gosh she's retiring she's suspended she's this or that no she's taking a break people have taken hiatuses in niti sanji look at uh Look at Kotoka, who was just mentioned, like I mentioned in the video. Look at Kotoka. She has uh, taken a five month hiatus so far. Is she retiring? We don't know, but I'm not going to say she is. I'm just going to say she's taken a long hiatus. Live panel is ACGHK, originally scheduled for July 29th. At the main stage of Hong Kong Video Game Festival, proceed at first seat as scheduled. So even in her hiatus, even in her break, she's going to still tough it out and complete her contracts. The contract things that she was that she was contracted for this is a hard-working person of course i don't want her to do that when she is if she's actually struggling really hard that is not something you should do you should always focus more on yourself than on anything like that of course nana is sorting out some some of the husbands that previously wanted a divorce facebook source confirming nana's participation following this uh, thread's topic about the ndf using nana's hiatus as a gotcha moment when it's clear that it's a streaming break which is lots of hotline members have done before and not suspension or anything like that. Kiara has done it. Toa has done it. A lot of people have done it. A lot of people even on Nidhi Sanji have done it. Like I've mentioned before. They can't comprehend what taking a break looks like without it being a shadow suspension. Yes, because that's what their company does. Their company does shadow suspensions instead of letting people do breaks. This is an actual break, people. And just stop bugging like Nene. Don't bug Nene. Don't bug anyone else. I, I, do, my, I do that too. I don't bug anybody involved in any of this stuff. Unfortunate. But this is news. Um, that I want to cover. A VTuber, Wasabi Ebi, is selling her model and assets due to feeling disconnected to her. Bargain price for everything included. Now, uh, the actual source tweet is here. It's right here. $2,300 open to offers, of course. Selling model due to reasons I will not tell you because it's private and personal. Thank you. It's also feeling disconnected from her. Uh, PayPal only. Retweets uh, appreciated. Payment plans okay within reason. You cannot resell the model plus assets in its current state for more than you paid if you resell it. DM to inquire can only show uh, what she has DMs. Full body model, four hairstyles, one is unrigged, two outfits, fully rigged, uh, finished but paid, for, but it's paid for already. One is being finished but it's paid for already. Four expressions, toggles, glasses, toggle, uh, animated starting screen, 
Somo chart, uh, cannot count. So much that you cannot count. Mascot concept, doodle sheet, Minecraft skin, emotes, panels, drawing tablet overlay, chibi model, not rigged, but two outfits and lots of expressions, sub badges, chibi reference sheet, and anything it potentially got you be. This is their model. This is, you know, it's, it's well rigged. It's, it's, it's well rigged. The hair is rigged well. It kind of reminds me of Kobo, honestly. <clears throat> and that's the thing. It's an inspiration of like Kobo inspired, but also has a tail. A little bit of sea inspired with, you know, Kobo hair. It's a shrimp. It's Ebby. It's a shrimp. So yeah, it is unfortunate that this is happening. And everything I potentially forgot, yippee. They're going through, of course, you know, that's the, 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 the swimsuit. You have the chibi mode. You have the other modes. You have other things rigged. Very cute model. It is a shame. Design Bubble Gumi Arts, Mama M E E W G, Lucia UV is, is the rig as well. I hope you find a good home. I was attached to your design, but I'm curious on what kind of concept you come back with. I hope I can uh, work with you in the future. I hope she finds a good home. I do hope she finds a good home. It is a shame whenever this happens. It's like the second time it's happened, I believe. Buying someone else's model seems so weird to me. For this price, you may as well just make your own. It's exactly how you want. Yeah, that's the thing, how, whenever I see it, for 2K, you can get a fully custom personal model. Understand that there's an adoptable market, but usually these end up dropping their price in a bunch due to lack of interest. Personally, I was tired of my design. I would just retire and accept the loss. They're trying to recuperate some of the loss, and that you know makes sense from a business standpoint. But yeah, it's it's hard for someone to come in already. Like the, the model's already done. You're already you've already streamed with it. Someone else has already streamed with it, and then you coming in as them. It's kind of weird. Model doesn't feel like you when relaunching as someone else in a fine move and obviously this can be a new persona being assembled etc being said who would buy it uh if it doesn't feel personal to her anymore it surely won't to anyone else either exactly that's the kind of thing especially with the reselling clause that's an issue like if you want to resell it like on booth or something like that you, you should be able to it's yours once you bought it the it is yours at that point that contract should be null and void it, it's doesn't make sense to put that restriction on there. That's going to mean a lot of people who possibly would have bought it will not buy it anymore. Uh, it's just weird to me. Like, don't get me wrong, F scalpers, but why does it matter to her? Is it even enforceable? If she gets the money, why does she care if someone else gets, uh, you know, gets more? Not like that comes out of her pocket. Is she considering buying it back at some point? Doesn't want a price increase? What if that is she doesn't want it to feel like she lost out if someone resold it and left her thinking I could have gotten more? Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. Uh, that's the only thing I have to criticize this is the not reselling clause. But other than that, I wish Wasabi Ebi lots of luck in selling this. And hopefully, even if it's a collector, someone just wanting to collect good models, I hope it goes to a good home. Welcome, everybody, to another VTuber showcase of Nico the Pierrot. This one is a 2.5D voice actor, hyper pop chaos idol, vocalist and mixer, YouTube partner, and everything up the above. In their YouTube side, they do have a lot of english covers which unfortunately means that i cannot uh put them out there because every single time i do i look at any english covers of any songs or any covers of any songs i end up getting copywritten so here we go nico vargas formerly snazzle uh cubs grove i'm a professional voice actor jester idol likes to sing uh scream game and make music let's take a look at their intro vid that they have on their twitch hello i'm nico the piero a professional voice actor and singer turned vtuber and kai guy hyper pop jester idol you might know me from my work under my actual name, Nico Vargas. Most recently as the voice of Hal for Disney's latest animated musical movie, Wish. Oh, oh nice. You might have also heard me on Cartoon Network. That's me. The name and game are one and the same. Or in any of the variety of indie video games I've done. I also have been a singer on YouTube as well as a YouTube partner for almost a decade. So yeah, that's very good. They are actually a voice actress and they uh, have are well known as you can tell. So just pumping them out because they seem to be a VTuber that is uh, kind of, you know, trying to make something out of themselves, trying to pop something out there beyond their voice acting, beyond things like that. And I welcome that. I welcome voice actors. I welcome everybody into the community. And of course, I am doing this to try to give them a little bit more of a voice and a little bit more of eyes on them. Uh, I'm trying to make it variable in various ways, uh, you know, as much as I can, so you can get a very a variety of people to see. 
Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase, and I wish you the best of luck in everything, and I hope that this actually helps you a little bit at least. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.